adjustments for tonight? Well, it looked good yesterday going through practice, um, go through shoot around today, and then just you know kind of see how he feels tonight. If he's good to go, would you be inclined to start him? Yes. Ty, after the game that Amon had in game two, if you go back to JR, everyone knows they're going to play a role at some point in mm -hmm. these playoffs, but is it something you have to talk to guys about? Well, you all just got to keep guys ready, you know, in the playoffs. And you, know, you can play 30 seconds or 30 minutes. It'll be the biggest 30 seconds you ever played. So, um, you know, Shump was ready to go after not playing in game one. And, um, you know, he's earned himself to play a little bit more. So um, seeing that the other night was really good. After you guys watched film from game one, you and I think Brad and a couple of other people said that you felt better about you know, the effort, even though it was such a close win. What did you see from the film in game two? Well, defensively, just thought that, you know, we was on time, on pulling the trigger, you know, getting to our guys. Um, our game plan was a lot smoother. You know, they, we got to get better at the one-on-one -on -one defensive part of it. But um, the overall schemes and game plans, they followed really well. So um, that's a plus and a positive, And we just got to just, you know, continue to keep getting better with the individual defense. What, what do you see when a team shoots 51% a lot of times, the team has said they didn't play well defensively. So mm -hmm. what did you see that you liked? I thought we played great defensively. That's what's scary. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's scary. Uh, we did a lot of good things, man, a lot of good things. And, you know, T, you know, one-on-one -on -one is giving us some problems. Paul George one-on-one -on -one is giving us some problems, which we expect. But, you know, overall, I thought our effort, energy, um, attention to detail was there. And um, the focus was there. And they made some shots, too. But um, that third quarter was really a really a meaningful quarter for us, you know, for that game. And um, just continue to put them together like that, uh, we'll be fine. It's only been two games, so maybe it's too quick to ask this question, but how much of a defensive problem or uh, challenge is Paul George compared to any other individual player you've faced in the playoffs the last three years? Well, the problem is he, he can do everything. You can post up if you put smaller guys on him. He can run pick and roll. He can catch and shoot. Um, he can come off pick and roll and shoot. You know, he can get his own shot off ISO basketball. So um, he really doesn't have a weakness offensively. You know, he can also pass the ball out of double team. So um, it's a tough cover. And we know we have to do it by committee, not just one person. And uh, we just got to throw a lot of bodies at him, a lot of different looks. Given what you asked for Kyrie offensively in terms of effort, how does he balance that defensively when the Pacers are sort of attacking him a little bit? Well, I mean, he needs to score the basketball for us to be successful, and we know that. And, um, you know, defensively, just, just give the effort that he's been given. You know, teams are going to score, guys are going to score on you. That's why this league is so good. But if you're putting up the effort and giving them what you have defensively and guys score, you can live with that. Paul was saying that you guys are killing him with one three yeah. Why do you think that? <laughs> Why do you think it's been so effective? Um, they're doing a good job of trying to mix it up, trying to keep us off balance. But, you know, when you have Kyrie and LeBron to pick and roll together, um, that's a tough duo to try to handle. So you can pick your poison. So, I mean, I'm not going to say what I would do. But, <laughs> but it's just a tough cover. You know, when you got Kyrie coming off the pick and roll and LeBron setting up screen, um, so it's a tough cover. And um, that's been one of our, you know, go-to plays in the series.